Hi. Which one? Dude, these are so confusing. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I just did that, me. I don't know. He told right. me to hit the button. I don't ask, know what to do. Ask the Boss episode number 24. Shout out Jeff Gordon. <laughs> Going into turn three, ball. He's in a winner's circle, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. So we got a... Uh, we had a little time on our hands today, so we finally uh, played around with the system. You want to introduce all the far- all the, no- <laughs> all the noises to them so they they're ready. <laughs> oh, okay, that right, there it is. There's that was- fart noise. Me. So that's when I say something stupid, right? Claws. Dude, and you gotta like relax me- for a second. Me- meat's it's gonna fast. meat's gonna get a lot of the. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of that. Yeah, how about that? You like that rim shot? <laughs> you like? I never that? knew that was called a rim shot. <laughs> yeah, rim, rim shot. Chirp, chirp. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Let's yep. get it. What we got here? Woo! We got this. And for those intimate moments. I feel like that's a cuck uh, introduction there. Like, when wait a second. Them. The funny thing is, we're on live, and no one can no one can hear the sound <laughs> <laughs> on Instagram Live. If you're wondering what we're doing, it's even better if nobody else can even hear. It. Like, we're we're playing with the the jaunt over here. All right, we need a oh, break man. for sponsors, real quick. Break for sponsors. Yeah, we got this from DNC. Dallas Shout New- out Dallas Nutrition Corner, Christopher. Del- Dallas Nutrition Corner. Hope you sit let- with us. Mm. That would be a good sound. How about the slurper sound? Ooh, we'll do it after. after. <laughs> it's a lot of gargling there. Ugh. It's gross. We're good. All right, let's just uh, run through the meat brigade on here. See if we got any. Oh, meat brigade, shout out. Look at all that meat oh, in there. My nose is running. Erp, burp. That was Jay Horny's in here. Hey, Josh Gordon, I need I need to task you with something as my campaign manager. So I had a, um, a guy order and request meat brigade you know, signature on his order. But I don't know who he is, so I need you to figure out who he is and uh, you know get them all hooked up and you know introduced and all that. So all the way from Scotland, he was uh, what was his name Jacob. I, I'll get you. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to Josh Gordon, oh. my my campaign manager. All right, he knows what Chris Law on here's Meat Brigade. You get a lot of love, with this bro. Thing. Meat Brigade is a real thing. We what need a I, T-shirt. How about for the vegan launch, we do Meat Brigade? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Let's do like a real vegan shirt. Like yeah. we had the idea. Somebody wanted to do bacon. I don't understand that. Yeah. J- Jay Horn is like, you guys participating in the 420 drop right now. Drop? Yeah, that was yesterday. I know we lit right now. Acting all goofy. Do you have anything else? It's, uh, inter- it's interesting to see like people post about 420, you know, like I guess they're in states that are like Julian, you know, is yeah. in Oregon. It's legal and, and uh, it's pretty much people. pretty yeah. much legal everywhere. So did you guys smoke yesterday or what's up? No. Oh, okay. did, did you? Did you do, did you do cocaine yesterday? Did you get <laughs> put into peer pressure? No, I didn't smoke. I just did some coke. Yeah, I didn't do much. I just did some. I had a gummy coke. bear. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Nice. Where, where are those from? Dude, if I had told you, I'd kill you. It's just something you don't talk about. Did you really have a gummy bear Yeah, yesterday? I had a gummy bear. Mm-hmm. You just like. Yeah. Fuck Hit, a it. Button. Hit a pause button for that one. Yeah. Wait, wait pause? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Good job, me. It was good. I hope those yeah. work because I really don't know. The gummies? Oh, these, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> that like, you're, we're pressing all these buttons. They don't definitely hear it. And then what yeah. if they, the doesn't YouTube doesn't hear it. So anyways. <laughs> oh, no. I really hope these work because people are going to be like, what are you guys doing? Why are we getting closer? And if intimate. not, I'm going to have to manually put them in like every time. Every time. <laughs> all right. So retail of the day, everybody nutrition. It's a little, it's a little small. So I'll turn around. It's a. I They're think in, he uh, needs a little fancier hunt, t-shirt. What do you Huntington think? Beach. Yeah, he needs he needs and like this some is Cesar like are in his life. Yeah, this is like he got some missionary going on right here. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out Jonathan in Huntington Beach. So everybody nutrition.com is a great site, especially when nobody's traveling anywhere, you know, in California especially. They can't go anywhere, so his site is uh, keeping them alive, so support your local supplement stores, everybody nutrition.com. Sam goes in the super size video meat says Cuck likes it raw. What does that mean? Hashtag meat brigade. 
<laughs> we can Good just get first in. question. Good first question. Cuck likes it raw, man. He does. He's all about the natural. He's all about being like natural. raw sugar. He likes raw he likes turbinado sugar. So yeah. we put raw turbinado sugar. That's what the original meaning means, but whatever you want to, wherever However you want to take it, it you know. Nice all right, let's run through what we got going on this week. Pump chasers in there with some. So, meat. how about a, just a thanks for the sh- the, yeah. the love on the greens? Give a the love on the green launch. That was like a record launch for us. Like we, that launch was actually better than our Fury launch. Believe it or not, it was did our we, best launch of the year. Did we confirm that? It, I confirmed it this morning. I sent the graph, I thought bro. we got it confused with Pro. No, 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 no. We, we would be Pro, too. Me. <laughs> I'm going to meet myself every time. It'd be like bachelor party again. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fart noise for all you guys at home if you, did, if you didn't hear it. Listen to the podcast. Yeah, just listen to the podcast. <laughs> It'll make a lot more Sexual. sense. Sexual. Are you guys vegan? No, we're vegan free. But we are coming out with a vegan... Protein. Protein. So, anyways, back to the greens. So, we did the greens launch. The deal is still going on, but the t-shirts are gone with the 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 high broccoli jacked guy. He's gone. But the deal is still going on. If you buy the tri-pack of greens, you can get the uh, Guts and Glory. We took the shirt off? Uh, I hope so. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, well, might want to need, need to, to get call on Sam in. So, now yeah. we're working on the next launch. So, well, let's talk about next week. What do we got going on? Are we going to do the warehouse sale next week? There's a question in here pertaining to that, and people are excited. But they don't know the details of it yet. So, I think I think we got to do it as a separate landing page on the course site, but we'll allow people to buy America Energy and America Labs on the course site so that people can go to one spot and mix and match, and we can just clear out some of the inventory. So, so we're going back to, like, it'll be all three of our companies. Yeah, we can true it up on our, our yeah, end. Let's do we it. Don't, we can, you let's know, just do it. I think it's a good idea. So I guess Keto's got a lot of work between now and then. Get that site up. It's going to be kind of like a separate. He's got a squad. Knock He's got out. a squad, yeah. Yeah, we, we squad. So next week, warehouse sale, 50% off. You said it. I said it. 50% off. Dang. Now, obviously, of. it, now it's, uh, you know, obviously it's not going to be every product. It's not going to be the new SKUs. It's not going to be all that. It's only going to be stuff that we're either overstocked on or that we're almost out of in the black containers that we want to move through so we can continue the rebrand. Um, it's really kind of like a spring cleaning sale. Yeah. Throw some clothing. clothing we got a lot of sure. clothing on there. Dude, those the hoodies. We could do those sick hoodies for 50% off. The zip ups? Zip ups. Oh, nice. Let's do it. You're a large XL, XXL. And for some, a woman tights, yeah. you're just woman free. Tights, you just have you so put a, if you put on a little quarantine fifteen, we got you. We got you. All right, so here's here's this here's the story about the women's tights and why we have so many larges. Actually, Bird was doing the clothing ordering at that time, and we made one oversight, and that was we forgot to tell them what sizes we wanted. So she literally, our uh, she just kept it even. She just kept it even across the board. Where most all the women are ordering like extra small and small, some mediums. But we had as many like larges and extra larges as we did for like smalls. Baby W's, baby. So gotta take care if of there them. are any, <laughs> you know, <laughs> are there any thick jaunts out there, you know, <laughs> or if you just like it, you know, a uh, fit male, you can fit in. You know, pa- I, I put the XLs on. Yeah, Pat does wear the women's. I'll jacket. model them for the fifty percent off sale. Yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll get that. Yeah. So anyway, so that we're gonna do that next week. That's kind of a big deal. Yeah. I think I just I just put it out in the universe, so it's gonna happen. There's gonna, be some, there's gonna be some good. And how about we do some limited stuff, like the first fifty purchases get this. The next certain 50. promos that we should yeah. probably mm, think about that. I think, we, I think we need a meeting after this. What do you think? Sounds so, good. Done. See, you see, we're just getting stuff done here. Um, and then the week after that is May the fourth. Be with you. Should... Oh wait, no, I, th- I thought there was you gonna need be a like woo a woo for that, dude. Yeah, I thought, I thought there was yeah. gonna be a laugh or something. We need a. Uh, like a laugh, like an audience laugh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh wait, here we go. <laughs> rim shot. Rim shot. So May the fourth, we're going to be doing launching the core pump, the much anticipated core pump, the rebrand of the core pump, which will be a combination of Peak X and the original pump. Uh, phenomenal product. I've been training on that a lot. I'm loving it. Um, and we're going to be doing a sick limited release T-shirt. People are loving the T-shirts. I think that's our new. I thing. think I think people they didn't. It was the record launch because people wanted the t-shirts. They didn't even care about the greens. We do better with t-shirts than we had them with our joggers. Probably not. No, but because we were more gen. We were giving the t-shirts away. We were selling the joggers. Yeah, I was just trying to be funny. 50% also, we could do the, do the performance joggers next week. Me. 
This is too fun. This is great. All right. What else? Do we got an agenda here today or what? Well, I was trying trying to get prepared, but then today was busy. (sighs) That's a good thing. Yeah. All right. So we're just going to get into it? Yeah, is that all? So we just check with the... um, Meat Brigade on oh, here? I feel like I had a lot to say and just all... Do you want more custom tees? All right, we got you. Shit. Any more custom t-shirts on the way? Yes, we're going to be doing... Should we tell them what we're doing? I think we told them last week, right? What? Like the Jack Yoda. Uh, we didn't say that. <laughs> well, well, now we well, did. We're, we're trying to do... Sure. May the pump be with you. Well, you don't have to give them all the details. Well, damn it. Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let me get a desk where from the warehouse. Bro, throw it on the site. Dude, we have like four desks stacked over in a corner, Jay Horny. Whenever you want one, come by and get a desk. Done. You it know take, what? Take a lot more. You take, know, you got to take two desks. How about you that? You need a deep freezer? You can't take one. What else do you want? Deep freezer? Deep freezer? Yeah, you need a freezer. Anyone need a freezer? You need, you need some more shelves in there, Johnny? We got plenty of shelves. Yeah, we got you. We got you. All right. You need uh, four Raptor tires and wheels? No, Dude. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not free. Not free. Not free. <laughs> quarantine. Quarantine. Come on, Bruce. Stop calling me. Live video post. All right, this so how long have you had that gangsta home gym? Oh, I thought this was a question about our new gym. Uh, first thing we did when we moved into our house, it actually, as we were building the house, we built out the gym. So that was like P1. Before we got blinds or even bought certain furniture, it was the gym. It, we were on a mission. We were like, we crushed it. That's like furniture for you? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It was the best money spent right now. When did you move in? 15 February? Five years. Five years ago. January. January. So a little over five years ago. It's crazy. Let me get the White House behind you. I like that house. You like that house? It's so do. ugly. Which one? Bro. It's so ugly. The, white the one, one on the, the new one. It's like right it's behind so the house. It's so modern. It's a bird. It's like to, if it's you're bird. looking at the front of the house, it's got a so sick left. outside patio house. on the house. It's a bird house. It's got, it's it got a bird house. Yeah. It's got lofts and all sorts of stuff. But why they paint it white and they're lawn, dude. It's so, not a modern uh, white. So here's something that I take a lot of pride in our lawn. And I'll be honest, I don't do anything for it, but. Like, that's where I spend money is, like, True Green and a good lawn care service. Like, the $600 a year we spend on True Green, our grass looks better than Greenest anyone else ever. in the neighborhood. Yep. And it looks like, like, just, we're at Beaver should Stadium, a, you fen- know what I mean? Should put a fence Beaver up, block them. <laughs> you know, that's what it looks like. And then our neighbors, it's just, like, right, you can see the line where it stops. And it's just, like, all crab grass. There's, like, dirt and rocks. And, it's, and they got, like, a... So it's a really expensive house. Six hundred dollars a year is all you pay. Steph paid it yesterday. Six hundred fifty dollars, and they come out like I swear every two weeks and spray something on them. So they they're treating it, and then you somebody else mows it, or yeah, that's one hundred and twelve dollars a month for uh, ten months out of the year. See, I'm just and but that's I, look, I, get, I get like hold on, hold on. okay, all right, you hold go. That's less than forty dollars a cut, you know, like because they're coming at least three times a month. They come every week, pretty much, right? Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. So like to do that long for forty bucks, like. That's totally worth it. Yeah. It's got a little There's just slope. It's oh, they, the they do they do like angles and then they cut it back the other way. Yeah, so it looks like what? we're like, I feel like I'm in, you know, like Fenway. Yeah. <laughs> There's something like that. You're not even a Boston fan. Just down to my, my <laughs> deep, know, deep rooted meat blood. I just. I like the White House song. I want to do it just makes you feel like modern. Cali it is kind vibes. of cool. I could see you being there, but you'd have nicer grass than that. You'd work on that grass. I don't know. Because I don't I have like, grass at all at my house. Like, I feel like Bobby would. uh Remember the video, uh, the house that on the lake, uh, Lake Norman, and the, Jay told us that a couple gay guys lived there, and it was a full like window. Awesome, it was all windows. <laughs> oh, that's Bob. I could see Bobby living in like all windows. I like, like it. It's fully like walking open. around nude, naked as shit. Dude, Just, yep. Yeah, swinging the piece. Swinging the, uh, well, you got to find it first, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We went. To see, there's nothing to see. Like from way out on the lake, you're not gonna see anything. Right. I bet the. <laughs> I got a good story. I did a photo shoot one time on a <laughs> chirp chirp. I can't even hear it, so I don't even know which one yeah. that is. Put your headphones on, bro. It's chirp chirp. Okay, dope. Yeah. So I did a uh, long story short. I did a photo shoot on the beach. Photographer wanted me to get naked, um, so I did. Said fuck it, and then <laughs> yeah, we know the pictures. They're on your Instagram. Yeah, at right, Bobby Vance. Yeah, yeah, you know on. what? Can we put it? Up? Well, can we put one? Of you? I'll put the piece put the stallion. In. Put the with stallion the arrow, coming out of the, the, the so arrow. As I'm shooting that one, I didn't realize that the house up on the hill was the people were watching me. Just. So how'd you feel? Stuff. Well, I mean, I don't think they could see it, but I think they had, I think someone would like pulled out binoculars because I was like, they were like, is that a guy <laughs> or a girl? Anyways, oh, man. Good photos, though. How do I good purchase time. America Energy Fridge? They are on our site. Um, who does the graphic designs for the tees? That's Cesar. He's a beast. Um, he's our graphic designer. 
Frank Madrino in here. That's JFit told us. Uh, who else we got here? Fenway, blah, blah, blah. Cross cuts are so much better. Used to work for, that's what these are. They're cross cuts. They go this way, and then they come this way. Yeah. Yeah. My All dad right. taught me how to do that. My daddy. He actually, he was like, child abuse. You got to mow it this way this week, and then next week you got to mow it the other way. All right. Let's go. Questions. Ready? Let's get it. Let's get okay, it. man. Shoot. Doug Miller's questions first. Me. Okay, if you guys could be a famous TV or movie duo, who would you pick? For example, Bad Boys. Well, me and you can't be Bad Boys because that's me and Jake. I think Batman right. and Robin because, you know, there's a little a little bit of homo in there. And <laughs> well, Starsky and Hutch. That wasn't going, though. My, my head didn't go homo. I didn't know. Yeah, Batman I didn't think. Robin. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't even. I don't know where that goes. I don't know. What's, and Robin's way smarter than I am. So. No, no. Yeah, that's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I like Starsky and Hutch would be good. No, what I was thinking of, or is, what is that cartoon where it's like the incredibly gay duo? You know what I'm talking about? It was cartoon? like on a Saturday Night Live. You know what I'm talking about? Bro, you gave us gay duo. That's all. Gay cartoon. I don't Somebody know. help me out here. There's a Saturday Night Live skip. It's a cartoon and it's like the incredibly gay duo. And it's like Batman and Robin, but just uber gay. <laughs> no? Come on, somebody out there. Carl probably knows. Carl knows all about it. Oh man, oh, well, that's a great duo. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? That. What do you think, Bobby? I was I was literally thinking Batman. Jay Fitz says Yin Yang twins. Yin Yang twins, <laughs> that's awesome. Who were you thinking? I was I thought Batman and Robin the first thing that came to my head, but Beavis and Butthead could be Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. Batman and Robin, yeah, dude. That's a good question. Shout out Mighty Macro Senior. Who else? Who? I feel like we're missing some. Danny DeVito and Arnold. <laughs> Cause uh, Sponge my cousin Bob Vinny, and, SpongeBob and Patrick. Ooh, am I, so I'm SpongeBob. Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. And is Patrick the starfish? Yeah, yeah, and he's an definitely idiot. the chocolate lives starfish. Lives under a rock, right? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Uh, like, okay, so kind of in the same. Uh, well, I realm said, let's here. get weird. If you could have one superpower, what would it, what would it be and why? Ah, uh, the ambiguously gay duo. There it is. See, is see J- Gary James knows all about that. Uh, what was it? If I could have one, what? one superpower, what would it be and why? Oh. Could I just be Superman? Like, could it be invincibility, like be or like healing? Because like then you Wolverine. Wolverine would be pretty, pretty dope. Yeah, Wolverine. Is is one of my but favorites. you can still kill Wolverine, right? Yeah, you got they all could die, right? Yeah, they all die. You could kill Superman. He died, right? He died yeah. in the last. Yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, but he came back. Jesus, man. Superpower. Superpower? I don't want to. What wanna, about the fly? That would be pretty dope to fly. Yeah, flying would be sick. But like, I'm just going to go out for a little fly right now. Fly around the block. But super strength always makes everything like cooler, like the Hulk, Superman. You could jump, too, when you get that strength because yeah. of that calf the muscle. The Hulk could basically fly. Yeah, he, he totally jumps. can. I have like I have magic and Star Wars in my head. I don't have super, super. <laughs> what about like Harry Potter? You what about Harry the ability? Wanna, give me a wand. Um, f- shit up. Bleep that out. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> All right, is that it? What, what, so what's your answer? I want a wand. That's all I want. He just wants a wand. <laughs> That's a tough one. Flying would be pretty dope. But you could also have other things like x-ray vision and like being able to pre- like read people's mind. And you know what? I don't know if I want to read yeah, people's mind. No, no, that would be that. too whack. Yeah. So somebody asked here, are you planning a core 2020 version of core hard and core test? Yes, but they will be exactly the same because the formulas are amazing. But with a little asterisk behind that because one of the ingredients for core hard we're having a super hard time sourcing <clears throat> to the point where we've kind of um gone through all our options here we might have to pull it out it's the ncd so if we so, did we would reformulate core hard even though we just ran all the labels for it but it's it's kind of like one of those things we were promised a delivery of it and then we, we can't source we don't have a good supplier of it right now so um Potentially, there would be a new formula at Court Hard, but Court Test, no, absolutely not. It's going to stay the same. It's just the rebranding. Um, Core Hard Extreme is also getting a new flavor. We're doing a uh, the Blackberry Lemonade also in the Hard Extreme right now. It's just the pineapple strawberry. I'm looking up something. What you looking up? What does that What does that do? Does this a- extract? Uh, yeah, that similarly. Yeah, but that's not standardized. We, I talked to Bruce about that. It's not standardized. So what, if you had to take that, 
piece out, what does it do exactly? So that's a beta two agonist. Uh, it's more of like a re- recomp agent, right? Um, I like to put pregnenolone in there, but we are going to be doing a standalone pregnenolone commodity. How do you like about that? That we just yeah, I like that better because pregnenolone. Some people really, want it, some people don't. You know, well, and it doesn't really uh, cover the gap that. That's no, it doesn't. But it would be a cool addition, right? Well, pregnenolone is. But I think we need to cover the gap. That's a good question. I'd have to think about it. I'm hoping we don't get there. Nah, it's gonna happen. We'll, we'll find it. I mean, that's what that's the way I'm looking at it. But yeah, it just be know. out of stock for a long time, and that's not good because that's like one of our biggest selling products. Yeah. But then oh. when it does come back in stock, it'd be a fun. I fun know time. that's what I said. All right, let's go. All right, somebody wants to see more of your gym. Show us more. Show us more. Come on, Doug. Show us there's, more of your home gym. A, on YouTube. There's a video where I did a tour of it. I'm not sure if it was complete at the time. I don't think I had everything in there. All right, DougMillerPro.com, sign up. It's nine ninety nine per month. You get a full access tour. All right, man. Of his whole house. Of his bedroom, everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's like 20 bucks. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> what were your hobbies when you were younger? Fishing, scrapbooking, et cetera. <laughs> scrapbook? <laughs> Who, did they really Who said that? that? Sam, he's part of the meat brigade. Scrapbooking. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. You know, I here's you, a really Sam. funny thing. He's in is, there, too. This past weekend, Steph was making me go through some old crap we have, and I went through a scrapbook. That, that I made? specifically made, it was our, like our big end of the year. I think it was a sixth grade project. I mean, it was like from your whole history, your family tree, uh, like all through the age. It was actually really well done. I thought you were telling me you did a scrapbook, scrapbook for Steph. No, and that's, she that's sweet. That'd no, be awesome. No, somebody did a scrapbook for our wedding, which was super cool. They put like uh, us at the same age, kind of like pictures and like what we were doing through time, like next to each other. And then we came together for our wedding. It was a, that's awesome. Yeah, we looked at it once and then, you know, put it in a box. It doesn't look like a scrapbooker, like as a child. Um, I would say one of the big ones was skiing that I wish that I was back into. But right now, I'm I'm be honest with you, like, I just don't want to kill myself. Like, uh, because I used to do some stupid stuff and I would, I just have to go back out there and just be like, all right, I'm just going to cruise and do some nice carving, you know. But then I know I'm going to get the urge, like, dude, let's go do the bumps and like, let's, you know, I wonder if I can still do jumps. And then the next thing you know, I'm going to be like broken leg, broken knee. But I want to get the kids skiing. So I think next year is the year. My brother just built a ski house in New Hampshire. Oh, nice. So nice. New it's, England. Yeah. Get it. So cold. It's, dude, it's cold as F. Like, I want to go west skiing. I want to go to Colorado. Yeah, go to Vail, man. Vail's my favorite, all time favorite. The huge back holes. It's amazing. Okay. Yep. Who's, an S- who's the best natural bodybuilder you've ever seen, and who's your favorite bodybuilder, period? Doug Miller. Well, me, of course. Doug Miller. What was the question? Sorry, I was uh, Who's the best natural bodybuilder you've ever seen, and who's your favorite bodybuilder, period? I, so I've answered this before. I don't think I have a favorite bodybuilder. Like, that's just, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't know. Is it weird that that's weird? Um, I don't think it's weird, but, like, a lot of bodybuilders – Usually have favorite body. Did you meet in person? I was like, wow, like that's pretty sick in person. But I, I get what you're saying because like I didn't grow up admiring IFBB bodybuilders. Like I really didn't even know. Oh, so I was into it in the early 2000s. In the early 2000s, like man, watching Lavrone and like Sean Ray and like Lee Priest and like yeah, L- Lee Priest was like way. my favorite. Like coming up. Well, there you go. You know, like, there's your answer. Okay, great. <laughs> what about <laughs> your favorite natural? Um, favorite natty. You know, I, you know, it's probably Whitaker or Ricardo. I would probably say. So you were like, you were around the time like when magazines were like still dope. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude! I buy every month muscular development. I used to go to like Barnes yeah. and Nobles and like just like totally stay there and just be like, that's sick. I was actually so memorable. I look at the the advertisements probably more than the actual books. I'm gonna tell you, like the was, supplements. I was on know? a book one time in Amazon. Or not Amazon, Barnes and Nobles. You were in it. I was in a like a mag, a magazine. Which one? A gay one. It was. Was it like yeah? Yeah, it was a gay one. Yeah, yeah. I just was like you're a, serious. I was just like a, yeah, hundred percent. Probably from that same photo shoot. But like I had my my grandparents went to like Barnes and Nobles and like bought it and they're like, do you know this magazine's gay people? And I was like, yeah. But what stuff. was it called? Wasn't that the WMBFs? <laughs> was it the WMBFs nah, magazine, nah. which was also no? It was nothing like. It was just like. Someone is like, can I publish your pictures? Like, like, yeah, hot, like hot boys. Yeah, it was like hotboys.com or something. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, man. People are buying my stuff out there. All right, the Sam guy just hit a bunch of questions. Five minutes, five minutes. Okay, five minutes. What's the worst business meeting you've ever had? You don't have to mention any names. Ooh. 
Did you know we've had some? We've had it. What about interview? I I like numbers yeah, was, and uh, um, numbers are good. So yeah, so I like numbers, and that's why um, I think this job would be good. Oh, worst business. I think we were, we were hiring for like, was it like a personal assistant or like an accounting, somebody to help me with accounting and stuff? No, it wasn't that. Oh, it was the inside sales. Yeah, it didn't have to do with numbers. Yeah, but but she did like numbers. Yeah, but that's what that's why it was it wasn't good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's the worst business meeting? I dude, I know we've probably one of the funniest business meetings. That after it actually worked, turned out well for us, but when we played. The oh god Viagra video, <laughs> great time. So there was a bunch of the story is that we were presenting to the military. The military is um, this is that your pack, your pack, and there the military is built made up of a bunch of female buyers. So they're all female. There's one male in the room who is like kind of the boss of your pack, the distributor. And um, yeah, we were like, yeah, we've, we're doing some new. It's America Energy. We're uh, we're filming some new. But they love. They were talking up yeah. our videos. They, they, they liked videos. it. They they love the brand. They like what's going on. And Shout we're like, yeah, we one. got we got some new commercials. And uh, we were kind of like, I don't know if we should show it. And then the one male in the room was kind of like, yeah, yeah, just show it to him. Show it to him. They love it. So we ended up showing the video. And afterwards, we it was just, a it was the video where uh, we didn't we never aired it. So people no, no we it. put it up and then we had a panic moment and we decided to take it down. Yeah, it lasted like a week tops. And then Ari, so we had our, our our Arlington Nutrition Corner manager at the time. He drank. He was like talking himself up in a mirror, like the slow, like sad like Viagra, Vi- Vi- wanderlust, like, like the like, Viagra music. And he's like, "Come on, man, you've been with me from the beginning, you know, but you're letting me down." And then he drinks America Energy. And then he starts like talking dirty in the camera. And then next thing, yeah, the next thing you know, he's going to town, like shooting a gun in the air, pouring uh, American energy out on his girlfriend in front of him. And his girlfriend's legs are in the air. You could tell that he's like, oh man, in my town, on on Bird's bed. It was so, well, he was, it's so funny. Oh gosh. So I still got it. They laughed. (laughs) There was a ton of awkward laughing. And then after the meeting, I was like, I don't think that was a good... I think we just lost this We were driving, like, home. It was dark. It was late. And we were like, what did we just do? And it was, like, late, like, 8 or 9 o'clock. And uh, Doug starts calling. You got to take it down. Take it down right now. Take it down. We just lost this deal. <laughs> I was so, like... I was mortified because after... Like, I couldn't look at... The whole time the video was playing, I couldn't look at the video. And I couldn't look at anyone in the room. It yeah. was just so... I thought it was a great video. But it was a great video. It was just not the right... I think, we, I think we just put it up, you yeah. know, because I was actually just had a post in a while. We, we haven't had a post on the Miracle Labs forever. Just, just put it, it up right now. We're about to take a break, commercial break. We're going to put it up. Yeah. Just watch this it. is what American <laughs> Energy can do for you. Dude, we're just going to put it up. Let's throw, like, you know, a couple hundred bucks behind it, you know, uh, boost that thing. You can watch it right now. now. Right now. There you go. All right. Shower. What's going on? I need this. Oh, man. Oh, you gonna take this freedom? Yeah, I'm gonna get all up in it. Oh, all right. It's game time. Side effects may include compulsively buying guns and ammunition, exclusively shopping at Walmart, moving into a trailer park, deep frying a turkey, spontaneously standing up and singing in a Star Spangled Banner, standing at attention, a freedom erection. If you have a freedom erection lasting more than four hours, please don't call your doctor. Call us. We will help you take care of it. All right, we're back. And we're back. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Brutal. So how are you guys feeling after you guys drinking? 
Not gonna you guys feel good? Talk to that. I feel good. I'm getting. I feel good. I still feel like I'm struggling uh, to get words <laughs> out. Today. That wasn't even a button your, I pushed. Watch your piece. Yeah, what happened to my piece? No, no, you're drinking energy. <laughs> Sorry, I just oh. spit on you too, bro. Bro, Corona. <laughs> Fucking Corona. Quarantine, quarantine. You got a lot of beeping to I'm do over this video. Corona. Me there's over the Corona. If there's one thing, bro, I mean like, I'm, I'm outside with my, in the family walk, right? Family walk, walking the dog. Hey, it's that? beautiful. There's birds chirping. It's like 60 degrees, 65. And people got gloves and masks on outside walking around the park. Why? I'm not, cl- nobody's close to each other. It's, it's is the a, air contaminated? You know, it's a Are we living in a whenever contaminated? I, whenever I feel comfortable, then, like, somebody um, hits me up with, like, yo, man, my brother just died from the corona. And I'm just like, and then it, like, hits home. It's like, this is real. Like, like I, we actually know people. Actually, somebody who I was on here watching uh, messaged me the other night and said his brother passed away from it. So then you're like, I mean, it doesn't look like an old person who, you know, like, you don't know what their situation is, but it's real. You yeah. know, it's like, it's a real thing that like people are dying from, but at the same time, it is crazy because now they're saying, look at this going to the Corona talk. Now they're saying that like way more people have been infected or carry the antibodies than, you know, they thought yeah. from that study in Cali where they said like, it was like, I don't know what the numbers are, so I'm not even going to spout them out, but way more people had it than... Yeah, the, the mortality rate tested. is low, way lower than... It's like 0.1 to 0.3 versus the, you know, 2 to 3%, let's just say. Yeah. Still. I mean, it's tough. You just, just got to be smart about it, right? Like, yeah. I'm pretty much quarantined, like, completely. It's my house, and it's here, and that's it. Like, I don't even... Steph goes to the store. She gets... Throws her mask on and her gloves and goes to the store. Yeah. We got to go to the store a little bit this week. That's it. <clears throat> but it's definitely limited. Okay. This is a deep question. Gary James, shout out me brigade. There's one thing in your life you could change instantly. What would it be? Coronavirus gone. Oh, oh. that's a great answer. That was Good easy. One. That's too easy. That was a softball. Anything else? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that it? Yeah. I mean, you answered the question. So, Wait, what are you? What would yours be? Um, corona. <laughs> corona. I mean, I, I like my life. And I like. <laughs> Guys, I, I like my life. Me. Bro. <laughs> it's just mean, Doug. It's just mean to me. I mean, life's uh, good. I think, uh, and then when, yeah. when adversity comes, I think it's how you react to it. And, you know, once you get past it and through it. Then I, I, I was thinking I about think this. Things happen for a reason, right? So if you look at it that way, then life's, life's good. You know, I don't want to change much. Chirp, chirp. Yep. yep. Oh, I thought that was a cricket. That was chirp, chirp. I was doing a that cricket. Was a bird. I was doing a good cricket. Yeah. Bird again. Um, so I was thinking about this the other day that, or maybe it was this morning, but I actually, I really enjoyed the adversity. Is that weird? Like, it's not weird. Not like, listen, like our retail stores got totally kicked in the butt. Um, you know, the there's a lot of things that are not ideal, but I'm very thankful that our, we're still in business and we're quote unquote essential. But this whole kind of managing through this whole process has been fun. This sounds weird. Exhilarating? Oh, yeah. Is that the right one for that? <laughs> Save that for the game moments, all right? And the, exhilarating, but like it, not really, but it's just, it's been a challenge that I've enjoyed. Yeah, I mean, yesterday we had like I had two bad news in a row, at least one, one major it was the GNC thing. And uh, you look at me after it and you go, I love this shit. <laughs> <laughs> like everything was like falling apart almost. And Doug's just like, I love this. But you know what? Here's the crazy thing. I, the, throughout this whole thing, and maybe this is just because um, I'm getting older. Uh, um, throughout this whole thing, like I've been really at peace with it. Like I was messaging with Steve Salmon from Man Sports and I was just like, yeah, it's like, you know, retail stinks right now, but the brands are still doing okay. And I'm just kind of at peace with it. However long it lasts, whatever, like. I'm just at peace with it. And the same thing when the, the, some of these other things went bad, like that GNC thing um, went bad, but then on the car ride home, I got a call from somebody and they said, listen, we understand the current situation and that just doesn't seem right. And so here's what we're going to do and had a very fair solution. And so I was like, shoot. You're like, life's good. 
Yeah, like I, I just wasn't worried about it. And so like through this whole thing, it's been kind of, it's been fun because it's been a challenge, right? Like you have to make, there's a lot of decisions that need to be made. And at the same time, what we're doing today when, you know, most people are kind of packing up shop and figuring out how to wrap things up, you know, we're actually, we measured out a new space today to open another store coming out on the backside of this thing, which actually I'm really excited about it because that could open up stores in numerous locations immediately after this is over. So we could go from, you know, nine stores to maybe 11 stores very quickly right after this thing's over. So uh, in great locations, right? With a, kind of a new model that we're going to be doing on the retail side, but we can talk about that later. So anyways, yeah, just kind of been interesting. What, okay. else you got? what else you got? All right, so I'm going to go back to the brand. Still taking alpha when in the morning. I'm oh, sorry. When did the new core ISO launch? Strawberry shortcake, excited. Salted caramel is still the goat. So mm. we're, we're discontinuing that one. Well, we could might, might, might bring it back. But next week, oh, would that be opportunity it? to stock well, up there, well, you're gonna put that. You're going to put that in the sale? Well, it's still black. Oh, okay. Yeah. So oh, you're going to put it all that, black. All blacks. I was just thinking black that like we've already passed. Okay, we'll talk about that. Passed? No. Nah. Yeah, like if we had any Fury, old Fury. Bro, we got a lot of flavor out there. and We do? It's called pumpkin spice. I, which I don't know. It's an amazing flavor. Yeah, we just, we had a lot. We got uh, a lot well, of pumpkin it. spice I know we're putting on there, but that's my favorite. I'm going to get a case of that for myself. Actually, I need to bring it home a, today. Did you say pallet? <laughs> How many would we got? A couple pallets of that? Um, one full pallet in the racks and then one on the floor. All right. Um... So what was the question? Um, when's the ISO? Well, ISO. Let's talk about ISO. Oh, ISO. So ISO launch tentatively May 18th. We're rolling out this these launches every two weeks. That's our goal. ISO's approved. The label, renderings are good. Labels finally got approved today in theory. Um, so yeah, May, we are May 18th, that. we're launching ISO. What's our shirt going to be for I ISO? I will say bro? strawberry shortcake is amazing. How about like ISO horny? <laughs> <laughs> or ISO... <laughs> <laughs> ISO amazing? I'm good with that. ISO amazing. ISO amazing. No. ISO. I ISO. ISO. Something. We got to I like doing is just, well, we need a little bit of a direction, but just giving it to Cesar and putting it in his hands and see what he can come up with. Yeah. Okay. Gary has another question. What's the most insane or intense experience you've ever had? I don't know how to answer that one. Insane or intense? That's a difficult one. Meat, you know, got something? Is there a little meat story from little meat back huh? in the day? Like Insane riding a roller intense. coaster and like crying and having poop in your pants? I don't know, but I, I remember like bad times as a kid more than I do the good times. Do you? Oh. I don't really remember bad times. Like n maybe something that you personally did, whether it really embarrassed you or you really got in trouble for it. Okay. So the one story is, this is I'll never forget this. Oh, so it was after a baseball game, you know, rec league. I don't know. It was probably like 10, oh, no, 11, no. 12. And I think I might have talked about this. Anyways, you know that game where you unscrew the, the Parmesan cheese to the top and then the person grabs it and then they dumps put the it the whole thing, thing like a thing? salt shaker or something? Well, I did it with salt and my mom put it on her plate. At home? No, at, uh, and it was a whole, like the whole team at, at a Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. <laughs> never forget it. It's at Cracker Barrel. She put some salt. Patrick. She got really mad, really, really mad. She was so mad, blaming me. It's my fault. I was like, fine, eat my meal, you know, shoved my meal in front of hers. She got up out of the chair, grabbed my arm, and drug my ass like I was flailing and making a scene. And it was at 12? Uh, yeah. I was a slow, slow groomer. Or <laughs> a slow bloomer. Me. Slow groomer, bro. Slow groomer. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah, this Corona meat. I'm telling you, uh, I think that gummy bear got me yesterday. <laughs> Bro, good gummy oh bear. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, but I remember that for the rest of my life, man. It messed me up. You know, I embarrassed my mother. She she embarrassed me. God, drug my ass. Oh, out. I got some. Yeah, nip my, it. My mom has nip it. Has some has embarrassed me. There, there's one story I actually told it at my wedding, as part of my wedding speech, to where my mom embarrassed me. I'll never forget it. We'll get into that another day. One day we should do a podcast. It's just like us telling stories. Bro, when can we when get we leather get, couches? Yeah, then when we get the uh, and leather couches. Smoking cigars. Can we get this set this room off for smoking cigars? So I think we just 
Yank just those sprinklers out, out of the... But you just roll this out back? Yeah, Dude, I that just, would... I just, need, I just need power. No, I want a, I want a smoking lounge, like, inside. Uh, bro, I'm, we're going to work. We're, we're going to figure it out. I'll look. I'll do some research. Let's move I, on. I think we could roll this outside when it gets nice. <sighs> we need a cigar on Friday. Can we do that? If it's not raining, I think it's going to be raining. What's the story of the big picture in the warehouse with two tombstones in it? Oh, that's bro, Biggie. Bro, Biggie, baby. Biggie Smalls. I was in big into the auctions, and there was this guy who was going out of business. Uh, he was like a painter, artist, did like backdrops. And uh, I got that thing for 60 bucks. It was like the best 60 bucks I've ever spent. It's actually an old client of mine from the wine bar, which is around Didn't we, where. didn't, from that same spot, didn't we get like all the uh, pop-ups of all the presidents? The pop-ups, the presidents. Pop-ups of, yeah. 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 Uh, evil. Dr. Uh, evil. Dr. Evil. Yeah. Is, is he still in your office? I think so. Yeah. yeah, in the corner. There. Where's the other presidents at? Oh, I need oh, George. Hold on, we got room. some. We got some people in here. Um, Corzy's stockpile. So when is Corzy's coming back? So I got word from the manufacturer two, three to four weeks from the PO, got and it. we placed the PO last month or last Friday, two Fridays ago. So we're about like three weeks to launch. I think. I say the second week of May. We're just going to slide it in. It's not going to have a launch. This is a good question. Have you ever had a company or a business venture that fail? Yes. Absolutely. You used to own a gym, didn't you? Did that yeah. fail? Well, we once, once, once we left, it failed. So it was successful when we were there, and then part of it was the success. Our business partner was an idiot who later got busted for selling $50,000 of Coke to an undercover agent on school property. He probably sold it to Bird. He probably, yeah, it was Bird. Bird was buying Coke from him. Chirp, chirp. Um, sure. So, but that was, I call that a failure. But I learned so much. You know, it's very cliched. It's like the failures is where, it's like if you learn from I learned so much. That was our first real, like, retail type of business that we ran. And I just learned so much during that. That was, that was invaluable. I would have gone. It was very stressful at the time because he was such a dick. But uh, that was very stressful. I would say Bethesda Nutrition Corner was a failure. Yep. You know? That was, like, the worst store we ever opened in the most wealthy area ever. And the store just never took off. It was just not the right place. And so we learned a lot from that as well, and it got better. So, um, yeah, absolutely, there's failures. Uh, can we talk about how amazing the Bollock is? Yeah, it is pretty darn amazing. Love that product. Um, uh, you have I, any weird ISO crushing goals? it? Let's see. I'm ISO interested in WWE. It. ISO jacked. That's good. ISO jacked. That's good. What was the gym called? The gym was called uh, Clarendon Fitness. It was in a <coughs> town called Clarendon in Arlington. Oh, my gosh. What? What you got me? What you got? This guy. This is creepy. What? Oh, no. He asked you the question. Oh, dear. But this is the guy that was messaging me while I was at Disney. Thought he's clapping cheeks? No, he was like... I'm performing at this. Would love to see you. I see that you're at Disney World. I'm performing? Yeah, like he works at Disney. His thing's Disney Dreamer. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he was. it was weird. Like, the Sloan family knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, we're going to skip his question. Um, any? Do you have any weird uh, quarantine fitness goals? Any I, new I, movement that you've introduced that you so want to get good at? So I have been doing shoulder rehab every day at the beginning of my workout, and it takes – I'm doing like a full – oh, bro. Dude, I'm so much better now. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Dude. I'm f***ing him up. Shit. <laughs> Me. I'm mobile, agile, um, but I'm, style. I've been doing shoulder rehab before every workout, and it takes like a good 20 minutes, half hour. So, like, that's that's an investment. Like, and I've been doing it, and it's been helping. So, pretty happy about that. So, that's your fitness uh, goal? Yeah, that's okay. my fitness jump. Get this Mine's been squats. Thing. Oh, I did buy. Speaking oh, of that. my sexy squats? Dude, yeah. I'm getting dude, that hole cheers. real nice. You like that? That was a good time, man. That yeah. was good. Um, what was I going to say? I bought, I pulled the trigger on the Cadillac bar. Kabuki? From Kabuki. Doesn't Kabuki sound so dirty? Uh, it just reminds me of a Japanese restaurant we ate at in Roanoke. Kabuki? Kabuki. Yeah. How about that gym in Roanoke that got, like, shut down? The guy oh. stayed open. Yeah. He was and like, he, got shut, he got fined. He got, like, a misdemeanor, like, a year in jail, like, $2,500. Like, up to, right? Like, it's crazy. He's a rogue. Um, but, yeah, I got the Kabuki bar, uh, which is pretty – or not the Kabuki bar. The Cadillac bar by Kabuki Strength. Yeah. Um, so, explain that. I, I don't right. think it's – so, it's – 
it has all the different grips, like neutral but they're all grips, neutral, right? There's d- and there's different angles, and it has like a curve to it, so that so and then at the angle at the angles on the bar change as you go wider out, so that it's very ergonomic. Yeah, good so point. the angles change. Yeah, um, and so it's supposed to be awesome for like you know shoulders and crap like that. So you gonna invite me over, <sighs> and we can train together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Like that. All right, you got anything in there? Major yep. Mabe. Oh, big country. He's definitely part of Meat Brigade. Pat, you fighting some tendonitis? Oh, he sees your tape. Oh, bro, it's bad. No, it's, uh, what's this in here? Tennis elbow? It's golfer's elbow, but what's the technical medical term? Tendinosis? No, I thought it was E. It started with E. I don't know. Dr. Gold used it yesterday. E? Yeah, so I can't pull anything. It's so my biceps are atrophied looking like a freaking wiener. <laughs> <laughs> like an atrophied wiener? Yeah, so I'm struggling really bad on that. Um, but yeah. UCL. What was me? So I'm just trying to do legs every day. There you go. Squatting. Um, favorite supplement brand to use besides your own? Mm. Brand, not product. Interesting. Egos. So can't do Core America or Arms Race? No, well, you own those, so no. And you can't do a vitamin brand. Other sports supplement brand. Made it tough. That's a tough one because right now my cupboard is literally all our stuff. So it's when I transition from the nutrition corners, it slowly, it, everything is here. But like, um, but I'll look in every single category that we have. And this is, of course, I'm biased, right? But like, I choose to use our products because I feel like they're the best products because we made them. Yeah. Well, and that's and the like idea so like behind the brands in the first place, right? You wanted to create things that you right. knew exactly what was going on. So, yeah. Word. So I've been following you. Your I've been using your way, loving the flavors. Oh, is that the Core Pro? Um, epicondylitis. Yeah, that's it. E there you starts go. with me. Told you. Got in any good pre workouts without <laughs> caffeine? So our non-stim pre workout will drop. Our new version, May fourth. That's Core Pump. We have the old version of Core Pump currently available on our website and Peak X. So both of those would be good non-stim versions you could do. Oh, yeah, I want to pay attention. Yeah, pretty much. Did you answer? Uh, <laughs> did you skip the brand answer, bro? I, I mean, at this time, I just don't. I don't. I don't know what other brand that I actually use. Pretty. It's funny enough. I'm using two like USB Labs products right now. <laughs> and that brand doesn't exist. It anymore. doesn't exist anymore because <laughs> I used to get a ton of free USB Lab stuff. So I was using Powerful at night and um, Ultimate Tea, stacked of Liberty Balls. Good stack. Yeah. It's hard for brand. I would say products. We, like when we go to the nutrition store, nutrition corners, like, you know, you could maybe say like Outright Bar. You bought some Outright Bars. Mm-hmm. Here, you know? Yeah, but that's not a, not a sports brand. Brand. Yeah, it's true. So I, the answer is I don't. I use all our products right now. Just bought Fuzzy Uncle Carl from A-List. Ooh, A-List is, the UK has Fuzzy Uncle Carl? They just on the ship? Yeah. Exotic man. cuck. Yeah, he's international cuck, man of mystery. How would you describe the flavor? It's a peach mojito. So it's um mint. You should really put that on their website so people know what the heck it is. There is a hint of mint to it, but it's not like an overpowering bad mint. It's peach mojito. Yeah, it's good. Best so, time to take core tests other than pre-workout. It upsets my stomach in the early morning. Yeah, don't t- take it with food sometime take it at lunch. Day. Yeah. That's majority of people that do take it like in the morning for pre workout, it always messes up their not always, yeah. but it does mess they up can. their stomach. So yeah. take it with food. Like I would lunch. have more food in the stomach. Yep. Take it at lunch. Yep, yep. Take that. Um, any life event milestones or inspiration notes that are marked in your lifting journals? Oh, all the time. The thing is lit. Bro, so did you see my story from the other day yesterday? So Steph was making me clean out no. stuff. I found four more. You didn't me doesn't even follow you. you. Got, is, but, me four. doesn't even one follow day, you. One day you said something and you were like, oh, just, I was like, no, nah, I didn't see that. And he was like, well, if you followed me on Instagram. Yeah, I don't even follow Bro, you. this is bull. So Steph made me clear out some stuff and I found four new books from the archive. So I had books back to like 2001-ish, yeah. like senior year in college. I know that story. I just don't know. And what I had four books. It covered two years from all the way back to 1998. Bruh. How old are you? 98. I'm um, 18, 19. That's crazy. Dude, I was looking like flat bar or incline barbell bench was uh, like the first exercise. I got up. My last set was three reps of 155. 
That's that's good. It's good. Yeah, but I mean, like, yeah. when I was eighteen, I dreamed if I, I dreamed to just put two forty fives on each side of the bar. Oh, dude, yeah, that was, that was, that was a big day when I hit two forty fives on bench. I could like put two forty fives on. I was like, beast. I could go to the gym. Yeah, yeah. I was like, beast. Yeah, stringers, and I just wore tank tops after that. Like I remember going to the the gym in college, and there were some just monster, just juice heads, right? And like they were like deadlifting five plates and like squatting four, you know, over four plates. And I was just like, damn, they're kind of scary big guys. Right. Like, and then, you know, no, you're five, that, you're that five, guy, but I'm not scary. I mean, I guess I could be you're like, if, it, it's just, yeah, I don't even know. I'm a, so such a zone. Like when I'm in a gym that like, I don't even pay attention to anyone. So I could see that. But yeah. in college, I went most consistently to the gym out of all my friends. But every time my friends came to the gym, I just looked like I was a baby. Because they were bigger? Yeah. They, I mean, they would just do like, they would start with one plate. And I was like, I can't even get to one plate on each side. And I was just like, miserable. I remember That's like awesome. we, in weightlifting in high school, like it was a football weightlifting program. Does that scare you? Like if you look back at what a you did bit. in high school, like I don't, I don't even know if he got coached in any lift. Like, oh, I dude. Was, and I remember uh, some. I got coached. But like we, they like weren't. Football they, scares me. They weren't perfect. Yeah. But like I remember the, ba- the, the basketball team would come in and join us. And they were all like really intimidated and scared to kind of join, you know, join in because they're, they're just yeah, lankier, you right? Yeah. Like they were using the easy curl bars for things, you know? So this is a weird time, you know, that's what we were talking about like a couple episodes ago. It's just a, such a weird getting started is a weird thing, you know? That's and why I like Jackson. He's going to, we're going to, mom and daddy going to train him in the basement. He's a Jackson beast. Griff. Yeah. Mouth guard. He's, he's, he's going to come out of the basement. He, like a, he loves doing thing. it too. Like he loves all right, a couple Dude, more. Dude, he had a big wreck today. Before I was about to leave, and then Griffin comes running in the door. Daddy, mama, Griffin, Jackie needs a Band-Aid. He fell. And so um, our neighbors, they, they're quarantined with our neighbor kids, right? The, yeah. the girls up the street, Taylor and um, um, Catherine's kids. And uh, But these girls, they're like eight and nine. Jackson's six. Six and he loves to play with them and they love to play with you know like this is a big deal. Yeah, I'm I'm just thinking like five years from like six years yeah, from now like bad. this is just this is just trouble. Anyways, um, but they have these really big bikes. Jackson's great on his bike; it's perfect for him. He's got like a track and he's actually like a really good. He's got good like hand eye coordination and he can ride a bike well. These girls have bikes that are way too big for them. I don't know why they bought these bikes. And every day we have like we just had this conversation yesterday. Like the other day she hit my truck and I was just like, is there a mark? There was like a little white mark that I like could buff off. But I was like, Steph's like, you got to move your truck off the street because like these girls can't ride bikes. I was like, I know. And Jackson's like, every time they like swerve in front of me and they lose control and like, and they try to crash me. So sure enough, the one they were like driving, like, like crashed into him and like, you do it. His elbow was like scraped bad he had like scrape on his stomach he was like crying like big time and then i was like dude this is gonna sting ah! i was like jackson i didn't do anything i was just warning you he was gonna, i want to stay it hurts. <laughs> and so then i just put like a i didn't even put like hydrogen peroxide on it or anything like that i just wanted to like wipe off like cold, like, like a cold cloth. rag and he was like freaking out and then i put the band-aids on it he had like five freaking band-aids like it was a mess but these girls like can't drive a bike it's ride the, a bike? Ride a bike, whatever. Yeah, I was like, I was pissed. I was like, well, Jack, this is, I, I specifically, I'm like, Jackson, you got to teach him how to ride a bike. What, what age did he learn? So he's six now and he just learned? When he was five or something like that. Yeah, Isaiah, yeah, he's four. He just learned. Yeah. And I told my mom I would give him crap because, like, I'm pretty sure I didn't learn how to ride a bike until I was, like, yeah. 13. Dude, Griff now at three, <laughs> if Griff, so I just said to Steph, I was like, we need to get him a small bike, but Jackson has the smallest bike there is, and Griffin can't reach the pedals yet. But Griffin's a terror on that uh, the, the balance, balance bike, so he could totally ride a bike within a week after if we had a bike. Yeah. But they don't even make. I was like, dude, get him a little like clown bike, like, dude, like that a monkey rides. <laughs> like that's it. Anyways, I digress. All right, um, last one for you in best, here. Best balking tips: like, don't get too fat, man. Don't balk. Just, just like go on a lean, lean mass builder. You know. Social media villain in the industry. That's interesting. Villain. What's a homeboy? That oh, was the messing Nat- with Julian. Not Natty guy. Oh, um, Kenny K. Kenny K. Kenny K. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's just a loser. That's a villain. Yeah, that's a. Yeah, no, villain sounds like yeah, like too cool. Yeah, the villain's like too like, like too positive, badass, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's try to keep this under an hour this time, so we don't break birds' uh, computer. Minutes. 
is uh, five minutes, bro. We didn't get to my question. I, bro, you have like two questions. <laughs> Uh, all right, so is uh, the core gym going to accept outside patrons? No. Joe Firiani asked that, and he said he already asked you, but he figured he'd try again. <laughs> yeah, this is Ask the Boss, and the question's got amazing. He's going to ask you again. No, I mean, like, we don't – well, first of all, then you got different insurance stuff, and then, we're like, how did we open it up? Who do we say? So, like, if you are a good friend of the core team, we obviously we will let you guys train here occasionally. I don't know about that. No, if there's a reason, right? Like, it's not like we're going to just open, oh, we come by every day where you're doing this, but like... You're in town, you Yeah, yeah, right. Like, if we have visitors coming through, yeah, sure, you can use the gym, but it's not open to the public. Let's just put it that way. Okay. We're not, we're not selling memberships. So, speaking of the gym, what brands are you working with to build your gym and why? Pieces that you're most excited for. So, we're doing... Um, we're, we're not working with any sp- particular brand, right? Like, it's going to be a mix and match of a bunch of different stuff. Like, yeah. Designed equipment. Somebody gives us a brand deal. Yeah, there you go. Dumbbells going up to two twenty. Tried to work that with Panada, cool. didn't you? Yeah, they did just their sales. They just were like, I want a showroom. I'm like, making a showroom in Virginia. Yeah, this is like a showroom. Like windows, quality is right there. What piece are you most excited for? Pendulum squat. Mm. Let me say it right. Rogers squat pro. That's my favorite. It's favorite leg piece. Are you guys interested in having powerlifters as ambassadors? Dude, sure, absolutely. absolutely. You can be anybody. We have a great ambassador, uh, Pug. Oh, yeah. Pug the goat. Dude, he's a beast. He's like a buck nothing, and he lifts like... A buck nothing. Deadlifts like 700 pounds. He's like 150 pounds. He deadlifts like 700. Isn't it kind of crazy? Yeah. He's They're like a like, villain. He's like a villain on there. That's how strength, like, I don't know, transfers or like, I don't know. Sometimes somebody, the smallest person can have the most strength, and, right? Yeah, it's, how, it's also the biomechanics and how you're built and... What do you feel is your worst personality trait? If you could be an animal, what would you be? I'm trying to get in these questions. They're All right, good. so p- worst personality trait. I've, I've talked about this before, um, and it's something that I've worked on through the years, and it's, some, it's still a work in the progress. And I don't mean this in a, that I'm a selfish person. It's just I am not the most thoughtful person, right? Like I'm not the person that's going to write – you know, without really thinking about it as, as, as like a to do, like I'm not gonna um, go out of my way to um, be thoughtful. I guess is the word. Right? <laughs> I was right? gonna say stroke. Stroke, yeah. Like I'm not a stroker, and it, it just doesn't come naturally to me because I'm so focused on kind of making progress and 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 moving forward and things that are in my purview here that I just. Sometimes I lose sight of that. So I'm not a stroker. Or like I don't, I'm not great at giving high fives and I'm not, um, yeah, just not extremely thoughtful. Like, you know, some people like, like I just don't, it just doesn't come naturally. Like, um, let me give an example. I don't know. I can't think of something. Like well, what, what if you and Sam, if you, you and Sam have a kid, like I'll probably be the last one. Oh shoot, bird. Like, when he had a kid, like I was like probably the last one to give him a present. It was just, it wasn't that, that like I did. It was just like, well, we I talked, thought, well, like yesterday, like I uh, went to gold, Dr. Gold and uh, we just launched greens and I was like, oh, this is probably a product. Dr. Gold. He's kind of a, yeah. you know, a tree hugger. Yeah. I was like, let me get him this greens. And then he was like, man, you and Stephanie always bring me stuff. Yeah, you guys always make me look bad because Steph shows up every time he's got a, like America energy, a bottle core flex or this and that. And I'm like, <laughs> stop bringing him stuff. Cause then every time I go, I look like the dick. <laughs> But like that's what I'm talking about. It's yeah, not yeah. that I don't want to do it, or, or you I just don't, don't. It's, it's not like you don't appreciate nat- Doctor Gold. Exactly. It's it just, just doesn't come naturally to me. I'm not a very thoughtful person in that sense. So that's something that has always been on uh, my mind. Like going out of my way to, and I've done it more lately. But like going out of my way to just call somebody out of the blue just to see how they're doing, yeah. I just don't do right. Like so, I've had to. It's like, hard. It's hard to like, do. Like make a note of it. You know what I mean? Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. If it was Real an quick, animal. my personality problem is that I'm very reactive. Oh, yeah. I snap a little too quick. <laughs> and that's all I got to say about that. I just feel like I should get my feelings right. out too, you know? Back already? <laughs> we back. And we're back. All right, a couple more, dude. Good Let's move. get it. What about the animal? What animal would you Yeah, be? we're getting there. If you could be oh, an animal, what would okay. you be? He's a bird, an eagle. Lion. Ooh, Tiger King. Ooh. <laughs> I'd be a griffin. Mystical animal. Part eagle, part lion. Wow. 
What's the story behind Is there Griffin? We really struggled with his name, like what we were going to name him. We wanted something different, and they were all like, you know. Uh, Steve. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> Mike. Bro, Patrick's pretty, you know. You know, so like we, we didn't know, but we wanted something different and unique, something we, we really liked. And for some reason, like Steph saw two eagles circling, and then like I, I saw an eagle that, like the same day. And there was like three instances where we saw an eagle, and then we were looking through like a list of names. I was like, Griffin, that's, that's it. And now he's total Griff. Just like Griff. Like there's Griff being a telling Alexa to play the poop song again or the butt cheek song. Like he's a little if I was an animal. Like it'd be like a gorilla. Muskrat. Muskrat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Or a squirrel. squirrel. What, did, what did you and Christopher say in Dallas that uh I don't know, something me taking a bath. <laughs> oh yeah, like a like a pig. A, a, ba- a, ma- a bath he'd be putting the meat in the bathtub, it would be a stew. Yeah. Gonna go gonna cook a stew. Uh, I thought that was like pig pen. You're no, just saying like cooking a stew. Yeah, like you put the meat? meat, like meat in a warm bath is like a stew. <laughs> so like when you take a bath, it's a stew. Click the button. Which one? Oh, hey! We oh, are here. That, that was a class. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking like oh, wait. meat. <laughs> that's this one. No. Wait. That's a rim shot. Yeah. yeah so that's the meat. And then this is the... What's wah. the mythical creature half... Person half horse, horse? Minotaur. Minotaur. Yeah, yeah, that's who you are. That's a sick. One. That's. A, I mean, that's, that's just a good a one. That's one. Some Harry Potter stuff. Never right seen there. like a bad Minotaur. Like they're Jack. Probably scary, man. Yeah, that is scary. Um, this is uh, Rachel wants to know if we can get Dave's dirty balls in her next stipend order. You gotta talk to Dave. Take take that off the line with Dave. Dave's <laughs> Dave's dirty <laughs> balls are everywhere. You should start an OnlyFans page. <laughs> he sends, like, <laughs> sends balls up. Yeah, we'll get you some dirty balls, Rachel. Oh. Don't you worry about it. Live on the screen. Thoughts on berry greens with a berry flavored carbonated drink? Try it. Let us know. I don't uh, know. Can I just go. What, what did I do? Hey, oh, I kicked this off. Hour. Yeah, you. We went over an hour. Lost you. I don't know. Carbonated greens. I don't know. That's gross. No. You can't shake it. And, I don't Fake know. news. Hey, sweetheart. DM us. Yeah. Sheltered in place? Question mark. No, not really. Two places. Quarantined, I would say, like separate, you know, like two places, yeah. <laughs> Here well, we go. You know, me, we're going to be going on a road next week. We're going to Delaware. We it's are. happen. Stay next in week. a box truck. Stay in a box truck. Do we still have a box truck? Yeah. Yeah. We went to the dump last Friday. <laughs> That's a great video. Can we put that in here? I guess I'll sure, show it to you. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Josh Gordon's all up in here. Shout out to the Meat Brigade for the awesome tri-pack deal yesterday because... I came up with it, right? I guess. I guess we did it on the. Has Doug clock. finished Ozark season three yet? Yeah, it's great. What if? Awesome. What are your thoughts? It was awesome. Awesome. And dude, Money Heist. Pff, talked about it before. I'm telling you, you got to watch Money Heist. I thought it was better than Ozark. There, I said it. Indiana Jones or Han Solo? Indiana Jones for me. Yeah, Indiana. Yeah. Nah, Han Solo. Man. Han he Solo got Princess trip. Leia. Yeah, yeah, he was all over Princess Leia. Yeah. I did have a birthday one time at the movie theater that was like Star Wars. I don't know which one it was, but. Just, just, saying. just saying. Almost a year out from the potential HQ move. Man, any update? Bro, will, will Corona push it back? I don't know. We're no, trying to go. You know, we're, we're, back. we're going in May. We, we are in May. After, so next week we have to go to Delaware for a road trip, a day trip. And then the following week, I think we're going to North Carolina to look at that building. We're going to do it, mate. Yeah, we're doing it. But it's going to be we four, wear gloves. It's gonna be four and a half hour drive. We look at the building, we turn around, and we come back because I'm not staying in a corona-infested hotel. You good with that? Damn. Bro, it's not a four and a half hour drive. Five? It's like five and a half. Six with Bro, the, do you really want to stay in a... I'm not staying. I, I mean, I, I'm just telling you. I'm, I'm down. I, I think mean, I'm the, the one driving. On. We call it a 15-hour trip. We leave at 7, we come back at 10. Done. Yeah, I mean, I'm the one driving for me. Are you going to uh, support no, gonna, me or are you going to watch that. Netflix and take a nap? <laughs> you <laughs> like it when I watch Netflix and I'm not like, me, check this out. Oh, hey, hey, oh, me. Was, I didn't support you at all on our trip no. at all. No, I had zero. I was stay. eating your aunt's candy, like keeping us staying alive. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was good times. That's all I, I got. That's all the questions. Out? Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's Should we do What's our screenshot? I like the gold teeth from last week. It was good. Nipple rub? I, I, that's, that's what I did. Greens? That's what I did. Yes? That's what you did last time. No, don't don't yeah. touch your nipples. Yeah. Oh, I got 
Let me get <laughs> like cold. Put a CD on it. CD. CD? Let's slide it in. What? Oh, that weird Asian guy you oh, said the other time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He put a CD on his nipple. And I don't know. Bird will be able to find a screenshot in here, right? Okay. Yeah, let's just pose for just a regular screenshot. All right. We're good. Yep. That's it. All right. We out. Till next time. Keep crushing it.